There you go. There's Barack Obama. He signed. Don't ask, don't tell. He's in his glory. Talking about the gay soldiers who fought in, war, in the Civil War. You know, if only, if only, Jeff Cooner, Washington Times, if only we had T-shirts back during the Civil War that recognize gay soldiers there so they could ha have their you know confederate uniform or their uh, or, or the union uniform and 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 right under it or maybe even over it or across the back I'm gay or out of the closet or whatever the saying might be it's a shame we didn't have that back then isn't it uh, Steve we never would have won the war for independence <laughs> had it not been for homosexual soldiers <laughs> We, and, we owe our very independence and nationhood to homosexuals. And, we will, you know that thing? and we will never be a strong fighting force, a cohesive fighting force, an effective fighting force until those T-shirts are being worn. Uh, Steve, what I find absolutely remarkable is this. This is, to me, one of the most revolutionary, destructive, radical acts I have ever seen. Here you have a president of the United States aided and abetted by the Democratic Party and many turncoat Republicans who have now essentially destroyed the greatest fighting force in human history. Every person that I speak to who has served in the military, especially soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan, I'm not talking about politically correct commanders who want to lick the boots of the president to get a political or plum military appointment, people who actually fight and die for this country are telling me they're not going to re-enlist. This is going to lead to a destruction in discipline, in cohesion, in morale. In fact, military newspapers, for example, the Military Times, very objective, right down the middle, the newspaper of the military community, did a recent survey, and they found that at least 25% of our current military personnel will not re-enlist if, uh, if Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed. So we are now literally driving away people in the middle of two wars. We are going to do what the Dutch have done, what the Germans have done, what the French have done, and every one of them have said it has been an absolute disaster. And what you notice, Steve, is all of our major competitors, the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians, uh, Hezbollah, Hamas, the Taliban, all of these jihadists, and other great military powers that we may potentially face, none of them tolerate openly gay or lesbian soldiers. Because everybody knows if you have an openly homosexual or gay army, you don't have an army. The military is not a laboratory for social engineering or civil rights experiments. It is organized violence. It is here to protect us and to win, and can win wars and kill the enemy. And so we defeated Hitler's Germany without openly gay soldiers. We defeated the Germans in World War I. We won victory and war after war and war and war. We have now emerged as the greatest power in the world. And now under this president, we are destroying everything that we've built. It's not just gays in the military. Just 